Welcome to my channel, Outside the Levees, where the levees end, the fun begins. I'm Jared Serenade, and today I'm picking up my brand new Go Devil boat and motor. I got a chance to talk with the owner, Warren Coco, to hear what's unique about this boat and motor. Then, I hit up the marsh to chase after redfish and cook them up on the grill. Now let's get it started. one y'all think it is let's go see oh, i think it's the one over there huh yeah i think it's that black one all right y'all today's a special day we are at go devil manufacturers in baton rouge louisiana picking up a brand new surface drive boat to be used on outside the levees can't thank go devil enough for having us as a part of what they do and becoming a part of what we do this is my first time seeing it. I've seen some pictures of it during the build process, but this is my first time seeing it. I let the boys skip school. This is a special day. Let's go check it out. That's it? Yes! Uh-oh, what do we have here? Wow, look at this machine. That is something special. My name is Warren Coco. I'm the owner of Go Devil Manufacturers. This is one of the most popular boats we're selling right now. This is an 1860 with the uh, 40 hall surface drive with fog neutral reverse, electric trim. This is an open floor plan boat. It's got an optional fish deck on it, troll motor bracket, and headlights on it. We've got the catwalks on it. We can sit on the side or walk down the side of the boat. What size are those catwalks? These are six inch catwalks. Six inch catwalks. That's a dry storage box which can be mounted from that side, the center of the boat, this side, or crossways. It can be mounted six different positions. And uh, that's our operator seat to sit down and drive. This is our 40 horse, fog neutral reverse electric trim. This is a hot dip galvanized for brackish or salt water use. Keeps everything from rusting, the frame from rusting. This is all carbon steel, much stronger than aluminum. And we got aluminum covers on it, but the actual frame and brackish and everything is steel. This is the new 40 horse. It's been out for several years now, fuel injected. Got fog neutral reverse electric trim on this model here. We do offer them with a manual trim and we offer them with electric trim. You can buy it either way. And we can, if you're in fresh water, you don't need the galvanized, you can just get the uh, painted version. You, what do you call this style of hull here? This uh, is a flat bottom boat with a pointed bow. You know, a pointed bow will run in the trees a little better. If you're going slow, you can bounce, kind of, if you get that point around that tree, you can get around it. There's a thousand ways to build a boat, and everybody's got a different idea, and we try to cover all the bases that we can. You can't cover every base, but you do everything you can. Yeah. Everybody says, well, I'm trying to buy one boat to do everything. There ain't no such thing. Uh, but these boats are designed with shallow water and mud in mind, correct? Well, well, shallow water and mud and also stumps and logs. We build this hull out of a heavier material and a harder material. Most aluminum John boats are built out of 50-52 which is soft, it bends and forms real nice, makes a nice bend. And that's what we build these boxes, our seats, lids, and decks at 5052. But our hull is 5086, it's a much harder alloy. That's what they use on crew boats and yachts. And that's what we use on the hull. Now this material is quite a bit more expensive than the 5052. And you can't bend a tight 90 in it, it'll crack. You have to use a larger radius die when, you, when you're forming it, so it won't crack. And that makes a superior hull. We started building Long Tail Go Devil in 1977. I was 22 years old when I started this business and we started in the backyard and worked there for two years. Came here and built the first building and added on and added on. Now we're up to about 50,000 square feet of buildings at two different locations. And in 05, we started building Surface Drive. We built a non-reverse, much very simple engine and did very well with that. And then in 2018, we came out with a reverse. This engine here has an uh, electric trim on it. Well, another feature we have on here that, that, that I did this, was one time I had a wire connection, lost the connection test in a test run when it started out. I took everything off, unplugged, replugged. Now that's all right. No more connections inside the box, everything's gotta be soldered. And that's what we did. And what I also did, I added a third circuit. This is your forward circuit. These are, these are Dutch plugs, real nice sealed plugs. This is your forward circuit, that's your reverse circuit. This is an extra power supply. In the event you lose a switch or a wire breaks or something, your clutch is still operable, but you can't get power to it. You can remove this cover and plug that forward circuit directly into here, and then that's the emergency mm -hmm. circuit will get you home. Get you home, yeah. It's in forward all the time. 
40 horse is EFI, electronic fuel injection. You know, is, you know, kind of leery of it at first when it first came out as a 37. And they did have some issues with them, and they got all that corrected with wine harnesses, but we've had great success with these 40s. All right, y'all, man, I can't thank you enough for having me as part of the Go Devil family now. I can't wait to show everyone who watches my show what it can do. Uh, if you're not familiar with surface drive boats, please leave a comment. Let me know what you want to hear about. If you are familiar with them, I can't wait to show you what this Go Devil can do. Man, I appreciate it. Now I just, we got to get it in the water. Good we got to go try it out. There she is, y'all. There she is. First day taking it out. We're going to go explore. What a beast, though, man. I cannot wait to get in this thing. What a beast. All right, we're taking it for a ride. We're going to go put it to the test. I want to run it through some vegetation. I don't know if we'll find mud. I don't think the water's quite low enough. But we're going to take it through some shallow stuff. We're just going to have a good time on this new boat from Go Devil. This is an 1860. This is their, you know, bread and butter, powered by the 40 horsepower with forward, neutral, and reverse. I don't even know what to say, honestly, y'all. I'm that excited. I'm giddy. It's getting close to duck season. That's got me giddy, too. This will be our duck hunting boat, our fishing boat, our craw fishing boat. A little bit of everything's going to happen in this boat right here. Got Mitchell with me. How y'all doing today? Uh-huh. There she is. See, we got our rods down there. It's not quite set up yet. You know, we literally picked this up from Go Devil and we're getting it in the water. So it's not, you know, we don't have rod holders or anything in it yet, but let's get it in the water, man. I'm excited. All right. So we'll come back here and turn it on and we'll turn her down. Mitchell's going to back me in. I like this big uh, shifter handle here. That's nice. <laughs> oh, ducks and fish, y'all are in trouble. Y'all are in deep trouble. Okay, get my keys. Look at this nice. So this is a gun box here, and uh, you can move it. So it's 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 settled in there, but you can move it to the middle or to the side. I'll show y'all, we already got a bunch of stuff in it. I'm gonna go ahead and wear my life jacket. When I'm operating a surface drive, I do wear hearing protection. Definitely wanna save my ears as best as I can. We just got to the duck pond where we normally duck on at. I'm gonna let Mitchell drive it. I'm gonna drive the drone. Let's see what she can do. y'all well we didn't have to ride long at all from the ponds we were in and uh we got in this bayou here 
and Mitchell started seeing redfish almost right away. He saw some sheep's head. So we're gonna take advantage of having this nice, beautiful boat and try to catch us some fish. We're just gonna pull in the bank right here. Got this nice shallow water boat, so it don't matter if we get in the mud. Pull in this bank. That's what I got right there, y'all. Plastic tip with a shrimp and a cork. Don't get no more old school than that. Hey, 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 yes. Ah, fish on, y'all, fish on. Species we came for, too. That's the one I like, y'all. That's my species right there. We ain't got no net, Mitch. We ain't got no net, oh, baby. Grim. Oh, grim. We ain't got no net, Mitch. Oh, there he is. First fish in the new boat. Make sure I land it first for a foot before I start talking too much smack. Get him in here. Slam on the deck. Look, he came off too. First fish in the new Go Devil boat, y'all. Huh? Shout out to Go Devil for the sponsorship, baby. Look at that pretty boot. That didn't tail. take long, did it, y'all? All right, let's get him on ice. We definitely eating. We eating. Oh, 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 Mitch got. <laughs> Mitch... <laughs> you was... getting my fish in. I was helping Jared. <laughs> Now I got one. I see him. Red fish on the menu. That didn't tonight. take long, did it? That did not take long. Didn't take long. <laughs> oh, the bronze beauty, baby. The bronze beauty. Ah, oh, look how pretty. Oh my lord, what you got there, Mitch? That's a little bit nicer fish. I'm over here messing around. Ooh, that's a nice sheet, Mitch. That's a real nice sheet. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hey. A little different species. What? That's a big one, son. Look how pretty it is. Golly. Pretty little sheep head. What? Yes, sir. That's going to be good, bro. Oh, that's the best eating right there. On the grill with the Rotel? On the grill. I'm thinking on the grill with the Rotel. Yes, sir. I like it. Yes, sir. I was in the middle of trying to make an Instagram post before I was rudely interrupted by Mitchell and his sheep's head. Let me finish my post real quick. Damn, Mitch. Tearing them up. Mitch is in the hot spot, y'all. Mitch is in the hot spot. Feels like another sheep head, I'm not sure. Oh, sheepy deep. God, they pretty in that clear water, huh? Look at that, y'all. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. I'm out to get a Mitch's little hot spot over there. Sliming up the new boat. I know. Breaking it in Louisiana style. The fishing's too good to sit down right now. I want to sit down in my comfortable chair. Can't have too many fish. Ooh, and he's got one. That's a hot spot. That is the hot spot right there, Mitch. You found it. I got to give you credit. You found the hot spot. Now he's pulling like a red. He's pulling yeah, like a red. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I missed this. I missed it, y'all. It's been too long since I pulled on these old red fish. Where's the grab? Um, it's in that Where's bag. Where's the center right here? Let me see. I'll be sucked. I'll be sucked. Uh, huge sheep's head, y'all. Biggest I've ever caught. Okay. Look at this monster. I want to see the hook. All right, the hook's good. <laughs> Look at that one, boy. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big one right there. <laughs> Oh, That's a monster. Jeez Louise, y'all. If it was summertime for the star, <laughs> you might be on. We'd be in some competition. The leaderboard. Dude, this is a hammer sheep's head, y'all. Look at this thing, y'all. That's a oh monster. I mean, God. look, my hand up against him. Y'all heard him pulling drag. He's been out oh, here. He barely fits in the box. Huh. We almost got the box full, Jay. Golly. I'm not saying that the go devil is good luck. I'm not saying that. 
but it might be implied. Came out just to honestly just test the new boat and scout around. And we're just waylaying big fish right now. I don't even know. I'm a little uh, at a loss for words, to be perfectly honest. Really can't beat it. Oh, Mitch is on. Hooked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this, thing, this is a red dog. He's trying to top my sheep's head. Look at him. Ooh. Oh, he's taking off. Trying to get him out this grass. I don't know, Mitch. He's close, bro. He's might be close. a little bit over. It might be a He's little close. bit over. He's a over. <clears throat> Ooh, you hear him, nice. hear him drumming? Nice Louisiana yes, redfish. Sir. We're going to release this one. He's a little too big. Plus, we don't have much room in the ice chest, so we're trying <laughs> to get some smaller fish. We're going to let him go. This is exactly the kind you want to let go too. He's not far off from breeding, or she's not off far off from breeding, so. Probably breeding next year. Yep. Let it go breed. Go make some new ones. You want to hold them and you want to get them, revive them back. Make sure she gets used to the water. You want them to kick out your hands like that. There it is. All right, so what we're doing is, I'll show y'all how we're catching. So this is a bay here, okay? And you got a bayou here, okay? Now, believe it or not, this bayou water is actually, the tide is trying to bring it this way. The current's trying to bring it this way. The wind's actually blowing hard this way, but the tide is winning the battle. So we've just kind of posted up on the bank here. And like I said, I'm not worried about being in the mud because I've got a, a mud, you know, mud motor. So I just pulled up onto the bank and we're casting the corks across and there's a grass line here. And you let it drift down the grass line and then that's when the fish are picking it off. Let's see if we get a few more. <laughs> Hit it like a lightning bolt. Oh my lord, these guys are fired up this time of year, huh, Nick? Yeah, they get fired up. Another one. Another Louisiana redfish caught in the go devil. And once again, blue tail. There he is. Uh, it's been a minute, y'all, but I finally hooked into one. And look, I'm not saying this boat is lucky. I'm not saying that, but I might imply it. So if you believe that could be true, go to go devil's website, go check them out. Call Warren, give him a call, talk to him about what, how you want to build yours, what kind of motor you want to put on it. They ready for you. As with any type of marine stuff right now, they're a little backed up. But if you put your order in now, you can have it sometime, uh, you know, for next year. This fish don't got me down in grass. I'm going to have to put a little pressure on him. And then you come run around in some ponds like we did. Come catch you some redfish and some sheep's head. Get to have the whole experience. It's a true blast and cast rig, y'all. Lose this reel, too. Ah. All right, y'all. Another lovely Louisiana redfish. And all we had to do, really, was just find some clean, moving water. Kind of a classic way to find fish. Really nothing special. Got some speckle belly geese flying over us, y'all. Let's see if we can find them. There they are, right there. Speckled belly geese. We heard them just now. Oh, 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 I'm filming geese. I'm getting a day. <laughs> Geese, I'm getting a day. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to film geese. There you go, Miss. Can you grab that for me, please? Thank you, sir. All right, sorry about that, everybody. I'm trying to film geese, and I got a dang fish. Uh, 
I hope you don't come off. I didn't really get a hook set. Let me see if I... What a day. I'm trying to film the speckle bellies because they were talking. My dang rod damn near went in the water. What a day. I'm not saying to go devil's lucky, but I might be implied. Hey. Right. Catching dinner. We eating good, y'all. We eating good. That's all I'ma say. Look at that box. Box Look. is almost full. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying to go devil's lucky. Y'all, y'all decide. You decide. I said they probably all over there. Mitch makes one cast. I got my line out there messing Mitch up. But... Dude, as soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water, pretty much. What? Get the go devil nice and dirty. Nate boys. Catching beautiful Louisiana redfish. I went right to Mitchell's spot, boy. And he was there. Look, I'm unhooking one. <laughs> He's fighting another oh. one. Beautiful redfish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, I'm trying to not break a rod, huh? Oh. All right, dang, we're All right, there he goes. Hefty fish, bro. Nice and fat. Hefty fish, son. Alright, we may have to do a count. Let's see. So we got one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I think we got one more under the sheep head. And then... yeah. So eight reds, three sheep set. All right, Mitch is hooked up with number nine right now. Oh God, where's my cork? Oh, and I'm hooked no, up with number ten. I'm hooked up with number ten. I'm trying to film Mitch, and I got number ten. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, y'all. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to just keep a little pressure on mine. Let's see if I. All right. All right, we'll try to get Mitch's in first. We got all kinds of stuff going on, y'all. All right, Mitch, let's show y'all Mitch. I got mine. Oh, he's pulling. All right, Mitch has almost got his in. Let me just keep pressure on mine. All right, Mitch is getting his in. I got pressure on mine. What? That's a big one. Digging. That's a fat one. All right, here you go, Mitch. I don't know if I still got mine. He must finally come off. Nope, he's on. Oh, he's still on. <laughs> he's on. All right. Oh, all right. Let's see if there's number nine and number ten, y'all. That's how we do it. Number Ooh. nine and ten. Same time. Same time. You old piglet. All right. All right. That's a limit, y'all. That's a limit. Two-man limit. Brand new sponsor. Thank you, Go Devil, for believing in what we do at Outside the Levees. This is exactly what we do at Outside the Levees. We spend time somewhere out here, outside, away from a levee. We got outside the levee, having fun, and brand new Go Devil. I think it's time to get cooking. You know you had a good day when the ice chest won't even close. Huh? <laughs> All right. All right, y'all, we really laid into them redfish, and man, that Go Devil is really a special boat. I'm proud to have it. What I want to know is what else do y'all want to know about that boat? So we kind of showed you, like, the basics of it, you know, the basic layout, some of the basic performance stuff. Um, but I'm going to do some more detailed looks into that boat. But before I do that, I really want to hear from y'all and, and better understand what specific details you'd like to know about that boat or about that motor, about the performance things like that. So please leave me a comment below. And as I plan the next video about the boat and motor, I'll have a better idea of what to cover 
when I go to make it. All right, so we kept all of our redfish. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them up. Something fairly simple, but really, really delicious. And it's boudin stuffed redfish on the half shell. I'm gonna cook it on the grill. I've also got some venison tenderloin that my buddy Chris just shot a deer this morning. He came over and we cleaned it up. So we got some fresh venison tenderloin too. Let me show y'all how I do it. So what I got here is I got my boudin. That was two links that I just cut out and you know unstuffed. And I've got, so now I've got loose boudin. I've got two redfish on the half shells here and my two uh, tenderloins from the white-tailed deer. So first thing I want to do is cut out this bloodline. Okay, you got a bloodline on your fish. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and follow this line right here and slice down under my fillets so that I've got, you know, it's almost loose up off the head shell. All right, so we got everything all cleaned up now. It's time to start stuffing some boudin down into our redfish. Just get Mama it in there. Dear. Milo's here helping me out. Got old little Milo, and everybody remembers I Milo. All all you got to show them something? Oh, it's his Easter bunny. Yeah, my name is on it. Your name hey, what? Is that? Oh, be careful. This is called that? Bo that's boudin. 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 I like boudin. You like boudin? boudin? Yeah, boudin. Okay, daddy. You make boudin? Hold you on, make baby. boudin? Let daddy, let daddy stuff it all over. All right, so that should be good for one piece. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and season it with a good bit of kosher salt. Yeah, I like that. I only want to die on it. Okay. <laughs> And next, I go with I'll my K-Fred Cajun, I'll Cajun I'll seasoning. Now, K-Fred doesn't put a lot of salt in his Cajun seasoning. That's why y'all saw me put hey, some more salt Hey, can I do a little another one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> and for some pretty color to the whole I'll thing. I'll do another one, too. Right, okay. Milo, go ahead and put some paprika down on it. Milo's putting some smoked paprika. Here, let me show you. Let Daddy show you, and you can do the next one. You want to <laughs> shake some paprika on yeah. it. Here, Milo, you do the next one. All right, good job, Milo. Okay. Hey, look at this face. Oh, look at that face, everybody. Now we'll go ahead and season up our medicine tenderloins. A lot of salt on these guys. I like the salt. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, Fred, on these guys. Yeah, okay, Fred. Okay. Party in the cake, Fred. Once again, some salt. Party in the cake, Fred. Party in the cake, Fred, everybody. Party with the cake, Fred. And some K-Fred Cajun seasoning. And everybody seasoned up and ready for the grill. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and grill some redfish. First thing I like to do is light my little tumbleweed. Then I take my charcoal chimney here. Put that in there. That's going to get our charcoal started for us. All right, y'all, so I laid my coals out here. And what I'm going to do is I like cooking with wood. So I got this big piece of cherry wood. I'm gonna put that cherry wood. Here's also some pecan, and let's let those get uh, get to burning. All right, my grill looks good. Yeah. I'll go ahead and I get my first it. half shell on, just half right shell. off of that direct heat. Same thing for this one, just off of that direct yeah. heat. Hey, and my tenderloin, do we want to go on direct heat? Okay. Right the onto the direct heat with the tenderloins. Ta-ta. <laughs> He's crazy, y'all. Milo's crazy. All right, now when I'm cooking right over direct fire, I do like to to turn it often. I don't like to just let it sit for too long on one side. Yeah. Because I'm cooking over a direct flame. All right, y'all. My tenderloins are done. Go ahead and get them off. Got my tenderloins off. Now what I want to do is shut the lid here and let those guys just kind of smoke out in there. All right, y'all got the venison tenderloins all done. And uh, by themselves, that looks pretty good, right? But I'm going to do something that I like to do and drop some delicious fig preserves on them. Look at them, delicious fig preserves. My buddy Jeff's grandpa made these fig preserves. You drop that down on there like that. Oh boy. You'll be shooting every deer you see. You won't be letting anything walk. I promise you that. 
All right, y'all. Now we're gonna try the venison tenderloin with fig preserves. No. You don't want the fig preserves? No. No. Mmm. What does it taste like? You wanna try it? No. What does it taste like? Tell me. It tastes like venison with fig preserves. Phenomenal. That deer was walking around this morning. Yeah, cause we killed it. Yeah. All right, here, Milo. You can try some without fig preserves. See how you like that. Pretty good? How's that? Good. That's good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all, that boudin stuffed redfish looks pretty much done. Mm-hmm. Boy, what? look at that. What? All right, y'all, it came off the grill. Looks phenomenal, smells phenomenal. Oh my goodness, look at that. Boudin stuffed redfish on the half shell. Oh. What does it taste like? Definitely go with some wood like I did. I can taste that wood, woody flavor down in that fish already. Take a big bite. Oh, that's a big old bite. So if you like what you saw here and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and please leave a comment. That's one of the biggest ways you can help the video be successful. YouTube likes to see people interacting. With so and please, I'm Lado. Leave Milo a comment. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Cheers.